You are allowed a statement on your behalf. This court is a fraud. At no time did I violate your territorial airspace. At no time did we engage in any type of intelligence gathering operation. This trial is a blatant violation of international law. Colonel, the American naivety never ceases to amaze me. We make the laws in this country. We are not subject to your ridiculous Western alliances. I am a pilot myself. And when in flight, I am always aware of my exact position. I have no doubt you were quite clear about yours. Your country has been warned time and time again. Yet your leaders choose to make light of our demands. Preparation is our due, and we shall have our due. Welcome, Minister. We will take you to the prison at once. sign the confession we require, I came to ask you to reconsider. You see, I am a compassionate man. I understand your courage and your sense of duty, but there are those in power above me who do not share my sentiment. If you're referring to your beloved leader, why don't you have him come down here and see me personally? I'll give him a confession. I'll shove it up his ass. It would be easier on you if you would accommodate us with a signed admission of your guilt, but no matter, we can proceed without it. I must say I admire the way you can handle pain. I'm looking forward to seeing you handle death. final meal. After tomorrow, he will not have much of an appetite. How long to repair your run? It could be repaired in uh, less than an hour. Put every man you have on it. I want these pigs blown out of the sky. Yes, sir. They're coming for the American. And from the prison to be prepared to move him may need him as a decoy. I want all anti-aircraft mobilized, and I want Defense Command to find their planes. Now. Flight leader of an American assault force. Sent to recover Colonel Ted Masters, whom you are unlawfully holding prisoner. I want Colonel Masters dressed in his flight suit and removed from his present location to the airport. When he gets there, I want him put in a jeep by himself and sent to the end of the northernmost runway. I want to see an escort leave the detention center in two minutes with Colonel Masters, where I'll have my squadron destroy the first of five strategic targets, beginning with your biggest oil refinery. Do you understand? Pigs. I want an armed escort at the detention center standing by for my orders and prepare my car. I am going to the airport. I want these people destroyed. Well, this year. That 
Violet is a dead man. How much longer to repair the runway at Ilkarim? Let's say at least ten minutes, sir. Tell them to move faster, or they'll hang. And tell them to move the American now. I want them to be together when they die. See you soon, Dad. How long now? Any minutes, sir. Get the mobile units into position, but keep them out of sight. No one fires until I give permission. Can you confirm any other planes? Nothing, sir. Let him land. Then cut him to pieces. Tell him to get ready on my command. Stand runway immediately. Finish off the American. Attack them through the flames. The Americans must die, or none of you will live to regret your mistakes. Send me two brave men. If there are any left among you. Where's Flag Commander, this is Colonel Nakesh. Respond immediately. Yes, Minister. Which member of your squadron is the most heavily armed? Major Gerardi, sir. Fully loaded. Have him land on this field at once. As high as you can. Now! I'll call up your store. All right. You may deal directly with me now, Colonel Akira Nakesh. And you can deal with me. You are a dead man. Do you know that? Move it, Doug. Move it. Pitch out. Pitch away from him. Time to die, Arnigo. So long, asshole.